Yo, what is up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning into my life. Today, I wanted to just quickly go over what discs I have in my bag as a beginner. Um, so to start off, I'm going to go over the original discs that I bought. And the one I do not have with me, uh, this is my first lost disc, actually, it is the Leopard. Uh, so my, my whole startup is the Innova Starter Pack uh, from Dick Sporting Good. And the driver is the Leopard, and here are the stats on that. Hey there, everybody. This is uh, actually post-recording Kyler. I just wanted to quickly go over the numbers. I realized I did not do this in the recording, so on the screen now you will see a little guide as to what the numbers mean. And so the order is speed, glide, turn, fade. And essentially, uh, the first number is just how fast it'll go. Uh, the higher the number, the, the higher the speed, and theoretically, the farther the distance basically just cuts through the wind. Um, the higher number glide that you have is the m more likely that it will stay in the air. So how long it will just kind of glide through the air. And then turn is its tendency to turn to the right. Uh, so a one disc will be most stable um, and then understable uh, will be a negative five and that will turn to the right and then fade is just zero to five and that is the tendency to hook left at the end of the flight um, so yeah those are just what the numbers mean and just wanted to put that in there because i realized i did not explain what the numbers meant and i wanted to help you out and it was a pretty good disc uh it flew pretty well um i'm now let me preface this with i pretty much my whole life uh, that i've been throwing frisbees it's been ultimate discs um i played ultimate went in uh middle school recess and then i played ultimate just like at camps i would go to and then i did play ultimate here at college and i still do play ultimate at college uh, but we just recently got a uh, disc golf course installed at the college, actually two of them. So I've been transitioning over to disc golf because I realized it's something I can do longer um, and I can just kind of get better and better at. I feel like I wasn't really getting any better at ultimate. So disc golf is something I'm trying to get better at. So I'm very new to the sport. Um, so I'm not great <laughs> at throwing. And uh, one of the holes here is next to a river. Uh, and uh, yeah, I grip locked it. I let go too late. And instead of going uh, left and fading right, I just yanked it right straight into the middle of the river. So I lost my leopard, but I still have my mid-range, the good old shark, um, and that is a 4402. And this is, a, I really, I love uh, forehanding or flicking uh, this disc, and it, it's really nice. It flies pretty much how I'd expect a disc to. Uh, and I'm still learning a lot of how discs fly and how, you know, the differences between disc golfs, disc golf discs and ultimate discs. Um, but my putter got the uh, AVR, I think is how you say it. Um, but it's a uh, 2301 and it is incredibly light. That is the only thing I do not like about this disc. It is absurdly light, uh, which is why I was really glad I was able to obtain this putter. Now, I do not know any of the stats on this disc because it has this really interesting print on it um but it's an innova disc but it is way heavier than this uh this disc so it flies much more how it expected this to so this is my main putter and this one i pretty much only use for practice or uh as a backup disc um this is a disc i'm borrowing currently the rock three five four zero three um, and it's just, it's a disc, one of my friends is letting me borrow right now, uh, to get used to different mid ranges. And I like this one a lot better than this one. Uh, this one cuts a lot more right and it's just, it's way nicer, uh, a lot more weight to it. The rim, uh, fits my finger a lot better for flicking. Uh, so this one's really nice. I really like it. And then I just recently was gifted this distance driver it's a 10 speed uh 10 5 negative 2 2 uh beast g star so this one's really flexible which feels really weird and it's kind of weird to grip um but it's it's a really nice throw i've used it uh for two rounds now and it works pretty good uh it's a lot of fun and uh yeah obviously still getting used to how this throws because it's brand new to my to my bag but 
that is all of the discs that I have as of right now. Um, I do want to get a jawbreaker um, and definitely like a, a force or something like that. But these are the discs I have as of right now working on building up my collection. Um, I don't even have a real disc golf bag yet. Uh, I just have uh, just a draw, drawstring bag uh, that I'm using as of right now, but still getting into the sport. So looking looking forward to building up my bag and hopefully I can give you guys some updates uh, when I'm semi-decent. And I really wish I could get some throws in, but right now I just don't have the equipment uh, or the, the people really uh, to film that because I need, you know, it's tough to get that like start in the end and yeah so i'm working on it i really am really trying to get that out for you but i figured i would at least do something uh to kind of get the ball rolling on the disc golf content so let me know what you think uh if you are a disc golfer uh jackson i know you're out there i know you comment i've seen you in the comments um let me know what you have in your bag um and what you think of mine and let me know any tips and uh why you're there if you could leave a like and if you're not already subscribed please subscribe helps out the channel a ton and this is just an experiment uh so you know you can always change your mind if you if you don't like it um so yeah uh, that's all i got for y'all today so as always see you tomorrow peace